The bullet train has been speeding passengers around Japan for more than 50 years. It's also a direct link back to when the Olympics first visited the country's capital. The train's launch coincided with the 1964 Tokyo Games. At that time, the Olympics were the perfect platform to highlight Japan's political and economic rebirth. Back in 1964, when we had the Olympics in Tokyo last time, it was showing the world that we are now out of the doldrums of the World War II and we're starting a new, new nation. Here we come. A 90-minute train ride north of Tokyo is Fukushima, an area still synonymous with the nuclear disaster of a decade ago. Around 20,000 people died in the earthquake and tsunami that caused the nuclear meltdown at the Fukushima plant. The Tokyo bid team sold the 2020 Olympics as the Recovery Games. In the spirit of 1964, the decision to bring baseball and softball games to Fukushima was aimed at showcasing the area's reconstruction efforts. Well, the Olympics did come to Fukushima, but the world didn't. Coronavirus meant no fans were allowed to attend any of the sporting action that took place here. Koji Suzuki has been surfing off this coast for five decades. The sport has just made its Olympic debut, and even though the event wasn't held in Fukushima, he says the Games have played a role in the healing process. After the earthquake, people thought we shouldn't surf here anymore, but I decided to get into the sea a few months after the tsunami struck. I hoped anyone who wanted to surf would follow me. The opening of the Olympic Games was a great boost, especially as Japanese surfers did great in the Games. I think young people and kids now want to try surfing themselves after seeing them in action. Toshimitsu Shiba was working in the nuclear plant on the day of the tsunami. Five members of his family died in the flooding. Fields have replaced this part of the town he used to call home. I don't know if this recovery Olympics has been effective at all. There's a big gap between the money spent on the games and the reality of the situation here. There used to be farms and a lot of houses here, but now there's nothing. I don't really feel this was a reconstruction Olympics. Some level of normality is returning here, but it's the people of this region rather than the Olympics making sure it happens. Andy Richardson, Al Jazeera, Fukushima.